this class we work out five problems on crane lift and hoist problem 1 a crane motor lifts 4000 kg through 20 meter in 50 seconds find the current and the energy when supply voltage is 400 volt dc and three phase 400 volt ac assume efficiency is equal to 0.6 induction motor power factor is equal to 0.8 that is a question weight lifted is equal to 4000 kg energy output is equal to 4000 into 20 that is 20 meter is given into 20 that is equal to 80000 kg meter we have to convert it into newton meter 80000 into 9.81 that is equal to 784800 newton meter that is the output input energy is equal to output by efficiency efficiency is given 0.6 therefore 784800 divided by 0.6 that is equal to 138000 newton meter or joules we can find the input power input power is equal to This is in joules. Thirteen lakh eight thousand divided by seconds, fifty seconds. That is given. So this will become twenty six thousand one sixty joules per second or watts. We can find the current I. I is equal to P by V. V is given four hundred. That is four hundred volt in DC. Therefore, twenty six thousand one sixty divided by four hundred. That is equal to sixty five point four amps. So when it is connected to the DC supply, the system draws 65.4 amps. Now we can find the energy. Energy is equal to power into time. That is hour. Here 26,160. That is the input power into seconds is given 50. We have to convert it into hour divided by 3600. So 26,160 into 50 divided by 3600. That is equal to 363.33 watt hour or 0.363 kilowatt hour. So first part is over. Next, when the system is connected to a three phase 400 volt AC, the formula is P is equal to root 3 into VL IL cos theta. VL is a line voltage. IL is a line current. Cos theta is a power factor. Power factor is given 0.8. And we know the power 26,000. 160 and we know the voltage 400 we know the power factor 0.8 substitute in the formula il is equal to 47.2 amps you can find the energy energy is equal to 26160 into 50 divided by 1000 into 3600 this is for hours and this is for converting kilowatt hour that is equal to 0.363 kilowatt hour problem 2 An electric lift is required to raise a load of 10 tons, that is 10,000 kg, through a height of 60 meters. 25 percentage of energy supplied to the lift is lost in the motor and gearing. Calculate the energy in kilowatt hour supplied. If time required to raise the load is 54 minutes, find the rate kilowatt rating of the motor and current taken by the motor. Supply voltage is equal to 220 volt DC. Assume efficiency of the motor is equal to 80 percentage. The first step is we have to find work done by the lift. Work done by the lift is equal to m into g into h, where m is 10,000 kg, 10 into 10 power 3, g is 9.8, h is 60 given. That is equal to 5.88 into 10 power 6 joules. Once we know the output and we know the efficiency, here the efficiency is 75 percentage because 25 percentage is lost. Therefore, 1 minus 0.25 that is equal to 0.75. Therefore, input energy to the lift is equal to output by efficiency. Output is equal to 5.88 into 10 power 6 divided by 0.75 that is equal to 7.84 into 10 power 6 joules. We know that 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 joules. Therefore, 7.84 into 10 power 6 divided by 3.6 into 10 power 6 that is equal to 2.19 kilowatt hour. Now we find the motor energy output. Motor energy output is equal to input energy to the lift. That is equal to 7.84 into 10 power 6. Now we know the output, 
and we know the efficiency of the motor that is 0.8 we can find the motor energy input that is equal to 7.84 into 10 power 6 divided by 0.8 that is equal to 9.8 into 10 power 6 joules we have to convert it into watt so we have that is watt is joule per second so the power rating of the motor is equal to 9.8 into 10 power 6 joules divided by seconds here the time is given 54 minutes we have to convert it into seconds 54 into 60 that is equal to 3024.69 joules per second or watts that is equal to 3.25 kilowatts or 3.25 into 10 power 3 divided by 746 that is equal to 5 watts power the motor rating is 5 hp the energy supplied is 2.18 kilowatt hour next we have to find the current once we know the power we can find the current i is equal to p by v that is 3024.69 divided by voltage is given 220 i is equal to 13.75 so the current taken by the motor is 13.75 amps. Problem 3. An electric hoist makes 10 upward and 10 downward journeys per hour. During upward journey it rises a load of 10,000 kg in 5 minutes. To a height of 100 meters. H is equal to 100. It returns empty during downward journey in 2 minutes. The weight of the kg is 1 ton, that is 1000 kg. Balance weight is 3000 kg. The efficiency of the hoist 0.8 and motor 0.88. Find A. Electrical energy input to the system in one up and downward journey. B. Energy consumed in one hour. C. Horsepower of the motor, that is the question. First step we have to find the total weight. Total weight is equal to load weight plus cage weight. Load weight is given 10,000, cage weight is given 1 ton that is 1000, that is equal to 11,000 kg. Next we have to find the net weight. Net weight is equal to total weight minus balance weight. Total weight is 11,000, balance weight is given 3,000, 11,000 minus 3,000 that is equal to 8,000 kg. Next is we have to find the work done during upward journey. That is equal to m into g into h. Here m is equal to 8000. g is equal to 9.81. h is equal to height 100. That is equal to 78,48,000 Newton meter. Next weight during downward journey. That is equal to balance weight minus cage weight. Balance weight is 3000 minus cage weight is 1000. That is equal to 2000 kg. Work done during downward journey is equal to m into g into h. Here m is equal to 2000. G is equal to 9.81, H is equal to 100, that is equal to 19,62,000 Newton meter. Work done in one complete journey, that is equal to upward plus downward, that is equal to 78,48,000 plus 19,62,000, that is equal to 98,10,000 Newton meter. Next, we have to find energy input in complete journey, that is upward plus downward. That is equal to 98,10,000 divided by hoist efficiency is 0.8, motor efficiency is 0.88, that is equal to 13.93 into 10 power 6 joules. Therefore, electrical energy input to the system in one up and downward journey is equal to 13.93 into 10 power 6 joules. Next, we have to find energy consumed in one hour. We know that 1 joule is equal to 3.6 into 10 power 6 kilowatt hour. Here the input is 13.93 into 10 power 6 divided by 3.6 into 10 power 6 that is equal to 38.69 kilowatt hour. Energy consumed in 1 hour is equal to 38.69 kilowatt hour. Next we have to find the horsepower of the motor. Rate of work done during upward journey that is equal to 78,48,000 divided by this is 5 minutes is given 5 into 60 Newton meter per second that is equal to watts. 78,48,000 divided by 5 into 60 that is equal to 26,160 watts. So, rate of work done during downward journey that is 19,62,000 divided by 2 minutes 2 into 60 that is equal to 16,350 watts. Here the upward journey rate of work done is more. We have to find horsepower of the motor for the upward journey. Here, horsepower of the motor is equal to 
26,160 divided by Hall's efficiency 0.8 into 746 that is equal to 43.83 Hall's power of the motor is equal to 43.83 Problem number 4 What must be the Hall's power of an engine to drive by means of a belt a generator for supplying 5000 lamps each taking 0.5 amps at 230 volt the line drop is 5 volts and efficiency of the generator is 95 percentage there is a 2.5 percentage loss in the belt drive step 1 total current supplied by the generator is equal to number of lamps into current taken by each lamp that is 0.5 into 5000 that is equal to 2500 amps number 2 Generated voltage is equal to load voltage plus line drop. Load voltage is given 230, line drop is 5. 230 plus 5 that is equal to 235 volts. We can find generator output that is equal to voltage into current. 235 into 2500 that is equal to 587.5 kilowatts. We can find the engine output that is fourth step. 587.5 into 10 power 3 divided by 0.95 efficiency of generator is 95 percentage and there is a 2.5 percentage loss therefore 100 minus 2.5 97.5 divided by 100 0.975 that is equal to 634.278 kilowatts you can find horsepower of the engine hp is equal to 634.278 into 10 power 3 divided by 746 that is equal to 850.24 horsepower therefore horsepower of the engine is 850.24 Problem number 5 A 220 volt DC motor drives a pump lifting 1.5 meter cube of water per minute to a height of 15 meters H is equal to 15 If the efficiency of the motor and pump is 60 percentage Determine A. Electric power input B. The current taken from the supply Assume 1 meter cube of water has a mass of 1000 kg so the mass of water m is equal to 1.5 into 1000 that is equal to 1500 kg weight of water is equal to m into g that is 1500 into 9.81 that is equal to 14715 newton work done per minute is equal to force into distance the distance is given 15 therefore 14715 into 15 that is equal to 220725 newton meter or joules and we know that 1 newton meter is equal to 1 joule 1 joule per second is equal to 1 watt so 1 ton per second is equal to 2 lakh 20,725 divided by 60 that is equal to 3.68 kilowatts that is the output output power is equal to 1 ton per second that is equal to 3.68 kilowatts you can find input the efficiency is given 60 percentage therefore input power is equal to 3.68 into 10 power 3 divided by 0 0.6 that is equal to 6.13 kilowatts now we have to find the current taken from the supply power P is equal to V in time V is given 220, I we have to find 220 into I is equal to 6.13 into 10 power 3. Therefore, I is equal to 6.13 into 10 power 3 divided by 220, that is equal to 27.86 amps. So, the current taken from the supply is 27.86 amps. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.